Board of order, we are starting the International Development Select Committee's inquiry into debt relief in low-income countries. So this is absolutely catastrophic that at a time of having trying to recover from a global pandemic and um, with the energy and food price um, crisis, that governments are actually having to cut back on spending in order um, to pay debts. We also came from a decade of austerity. So the pandemic really hit hard and uh, led to massive accumulation of debt levels. For example, in Asia, that the debt to GDP surged nearly 300% from 266% in late 2019. So there's fears that uh, with uh, interest rates rising, uh, that we're looking at more debt vulnerabilities that forebode a possible repeat of the 1997 Asian financial crisis. Key services such as health, education, um, water and sanitation um, are being traded off in, in, the, um, at, at, in, in, in expense for uh, debt servicing. The debt service suspension initiative, which I'm sure you know about, was introduced during the pandemic as a stopgap measure and the common framework was brought in shortly after the DSSI ended. Have these been effective, would you say, at tackling the current crisis? Uh, no. The governments did suspend debt payments, but the private sector and the multilateral institutions didn't. The G20 have set up the common framework as this new way to do debt restructuring. Three countries have applied. None have had any debt restructured yet in 18 months. In Zambia, the Zambian government directly appealed for a suspension of debt payments, which companies like BlackRock refused to do. One of your uh, members is the world's largest asset manager, in fact, money manager, BlackRock, which I think its uh, holdings, if I'm not mistaken, run into trillions. In fact, I think they're bigger than any GDP of any country other than China and the US. I wanted to ask you, uh, given that Zambia is currently on the brink of default, we're hearing that private firms such as BlackRock, which of course we've heard today have refused to come and negotiate, uh, refused to negotiate uh, with Zambia. I'm quite sure that BlackRock has got media monitoring. Uh, they are very welcome to either come before this committee, have a private session with this committee or answer questions. So I put that offer to them again as they rejected our original offer. It's really appalling that uh, Zambia, that BlackRock can get away with this. No? I just wanted to ask you your thoughts on debt itself and do you think that it should be cancelled? Yeah, so that is a strategic call and uh, one that uh, we think is urgently and immediately needed as a way forward.